Hello and welcome to Highlight Top Scores. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I recently received the following question. Can I format a cell based on another cell and when it changes, it changes? <laughs> Meaning, when the cell value changes, the formatting also changes. And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. To answer this question, I've set up the following illustration. We basically wanna highlight the top scores. So the first thing we need to do is identify the top scores. We're gonna use the large function for that. Equals large. The first argument is the ray, which is simply the list of scores. Comma, the second argument is K, in this case, it's one, meaning we want the first largest score. Enter. To get the second largest score, we'll once again use the large function. We'll give it the list of scores, and this time we want comma two, which is the second largest score. And for third, we're gonna use the large function. This is the range, third largest, close function, enter. Now that we have our high scores determined, let's go ahead and go to the next exercise. Exercise two, now we'll apply conditional formatting. First, we select the range we want to conditionally format, and then we go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Equal To. And we wanna format the cells that are equal to, and in addition to typing numbers, what we can actually do is just point it to a cell. And then we can pick any format we want, including custom formats. Here we're gonna go with green, click OK. And then we apply another rule. Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Equal To, and instead of typing a number, we're gonna point it to this cell. We pick any format we want and click OK. Finally, we'll apply a third conditional formatting rule, highlight cell rules equal to, we point it to this third score and we pick any format we want and click OK. And now this conditional formatting is dynamic, which means if the values change, so does the formatting. For example, let's say someone gets a 98. Now all the values are updated. Now the formulas retrieve the updated highest scores and the conditional formats are applied. Now, what happens if there's a duplicate? Enter. Well, technically, we'd want both of these students to get green. So what we can do is we can highlight our range, go to conditional formatting, manage rules. And now all we need to do is change the order of these rules. For example, let's select the top score and move it up. Let's select the middle score and move it up and then we click OK. So depending on what you're working on, that's how you can manage the conditional formatting rules when there are multiple rules applied to the same range. And let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. Now technically, we don't need to have the highest scores calculated in other cells. We can put that logic right into the conditional formatting rule. Here's how. Select the range, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to. In addition to typing values and in addition to pointing to cells, we can actually use formulas. Equals large of this range, comma one. And when that's true, we wanna go with green. Click OK. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to, equals large of this range, comma two. Close function, pick your formatting, click OK. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to, equals large of this range, comma three. And pick your formatting and click OK. And once again, we can select this range, conditional formatting, manage rules, and then we can change the order of these rules as needed and click OK. And that's how we can set up multiple conditional formatting rules. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 